Hello everyone, I am aware that icebergs have fallen in popularity a lot, um, but I stumbled upon this iceberg some time ago and I thought it would be fun if someone made a video covering it. Uh, so here I am uh, making a video of it. It's a great introduction into the lore of Molly's Miser for someone who's just getting into them. This iceberg was made by the Twitter user at HoneyVanity, that's Honey with a zero, not an O. So huge thanks and all the love to him. I've added a few additional entries, uh, these are written in yellow on the iceberg. If you have no idea what Molly's Miser is, then uh, uh, how did you find this video and why are you watching it? Well, I'll be happy to introduce you to them. Mars Miser was a Japanese art rock band, considered to be one of the most important bands of the Visual K movement. If you don't know what Visual K is, it's basically Japanese rock and metal bands that look like this. Mars Miser were notable for their strong French and classical influences and near the end of their career with gothic aesthetics. They wore elaborate costumes and their live shows were a bit of a theatrical performance. They started in 1992, their first lineup consisted of guitarists Mana and Kozi, vocalist Tetsu, bassist Yuki and drummer Kes. Kes was later replaced by Kami, who died in 1999. Tetsu was replaced by Gekt, who later started a solo career and is now considered Japan's biggest rock star. And the band replaced him with Klaha. In 2001, Miles Miser went on an indefinite hiatus. Illuminati promotional video Starting off the music video or promotional video for the song Illuminati is, um, to put it lightly, not suitable for underage people. The song's lyrics reference biblical, sexual and violent themes. In the video you can see Malice Miser members drop down to a chair, fantasizing about um, doing the thing with women kept in tanks behind them. In live performances of Illuminati, the band acted out various BDSM-inspired activities. Uh, what's interesting is that in their alternative costumes for this concept, the band is dressed as doctors. Moi di moi. After Malis Miser went on a hiatus, Mana started a symphonic metal band, Moi di moi. Mana composes all of the band's music and writes its lyrics, arranges, produces and designs stage costumes and acts as overall artistic director. In contrast to Malis Miser, Muadimwa is explicitly built as Mana's solo project. While the project members have input during the performance and recording of the music, Mana essentially determines the band's artistic direction on his own.
Butterflies. Kami, the drummer of Molly's Miser, loved butterflies. He had three butterfly tattoos and also appeared with butterfly wings and butterflies covering his mouth in the music video for Au Revoir. The album cover of Miles Meister's Shinwa EP, dedicated to Kami, depicts a blue morpho butterfly. Calling Mana Mana-sama Fans often refer to Mana using the Japanese honorific Sama, as Mana-sama. Apparently this habit dates back as far as 1992, the year Miles Meister was founded. Muame Moiti I think that's how you pronounce it. Started by MANA in 1999, it is a Japanese brand focusing on gothic lolita clothing. It is credited with popularizing the gothic lolita fashion movement. It features two lines of designs named Elegant Gothic Lolita and Elegant Gothic Aristocrat. Hey there, it's me, Kanta Vanda. How are you? I hope you're feeling fine. Kanta Vanda is a Belgian YouTuber who makes content related to the Visual K music scene. You can find all of Miles Meiser's music videos in high quality on his channel, as well as videos with Moi Di Moi, Duran Gray, Lorraine and others. He contributed a lot to the Visual K community and many people found Miles Meiser thanks to his videos. He also makes his own music which honestly really slaps. Klaha's disappearance. Klaha, Malice Meiser's last vocalist, started a solo career a year after the band went on a hiatus. He took on a much lighter image and wrote pop music with a sentimental and nostalgic feel to it. He released two singles and a mini-album. After a live appearance in April 2004, Klaha's releases and performances stopped without explanation. In 2007, he stated on his website that he will be returning that year, but nothing happened. It is presumed that Klaha has permanently retired from public life. Apparently, Klaha is a very shy person and struggled to stay confident during his solo career. Mana reportedly tried reaching out to Klaha on multiple occasions, but didn't manage to find a way of contacting him. Klaha, please come out of hiding. Klaha, please come out of hiding. We miss you dearly. We miss you dearly. Mwah, kiss, kiss. Mwah, yeah, yeah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Gagged Vocaloid Kamoi Gakpo is a Japanese Vocaloid, a semi voice synthesizer, distributed as Gakpoid, initially released in July 2008. His voice is provided by Gagged. <laughs> Mana cooking videos. The Mame Moiti official YouTube channel sometimes uploads videos of Chef Mana's elegant gothic cooking. And uh, yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. Some of the videos are subbed with Mana's commentary in English. Mana enjoys cooking books and shows and he even expressed interest in competing in a cooking challenge. Surprisingly, in one of the interviews, Mana claims to not be fond of French cuisine. Everyone hates Gekt. 
Apparently, there is a lot of Malice Miser fans that don't like Gekt. However, there doesn't seem to be a one specific reason for it. Some of them consider him a sellout, some think his leaving was the reason for Malice Miser's disbandment, some were offended by his comments about the band. Malice Miser, the members, they were great guys, wonderful, talented. I really miss them. Mm. Actually, I mourn. Uh, their passing, it made a rest in peace <laughs> and uh, the, from, from, my, from the bottom of my heart. 400 year old vampires. Gekt used to claim he is a vampire born in 1540. However, in 2009 he revealed his year birth to be in 1973. Or maybe that's what he wants you to think. Manasama talking to times. Mana is notable for never speaking in public. He speaks normally in printed interviews, but in film interviews he whispers into the ear of a band member or confident who then relates his words back to the interviewer. He has also been known to simply look at the camera as subtitles appear, as well as using yes or no cards and expressing himself in mime. Despite this, there were two TV interviews in which Mana has spoken. In 1996 Hot Wave interview, he introduced himself by saying his name and that he plays guitar. guitar, guitar then in the 1998 interview, he said that his eyes are dry. <laughs> Mana claiming to be French. In the same Hot Wave interview, Mana is asked where he's from. Speaking through Gekt, he responds that he's from France. <laughs> it's Miser. The name Malice Miser stands for Malice and Misery. So yeah, it makes sense that it will be pronounced as Malice Miser. That's also how the band members pronounce it. Spotify. Comment sections are full of people begging for Malice Miser's songs to be put on Spotify. In an Instagram Q&A three years ago, Mano said that he is aware that services like Spotify will become the primary source for music. So he wants to start making his music available on there. Unfortunately, it seems that there are some licensing issues with Malice Miser and Wadi Mua which are stopping that from happening. In December 2022, a fan illegally uploaded Malice Miser releases on all streaming services without owning the rights or any permission from the band. After they got backlash from other fans, they removed it and apologized on Twitter. Bara no Konkrei Bara no Konkrei is a silent film made by Malice Miser, released in 2002. It is based on Dracula and other vampire-based stories. Scenes from it were used in the promotional video for Mayona Kanikawa Shita Yakuso. It follows Klaha, who travels to Transylvania to finalize the purchase of a manor of Air Dracula. I won't give you any spoilers, honestly it's not a very interesting movie, but it's fun to watch if you're a fan of Molly Smizer. The original release has intertitles in broken English, but thankfully someone online fixed them. You can find it on YouTube. This. This is an electronic rock band formed in 2012 by Miles Smizer's former guitarist Cosmo. As of 2023, they've released three full-length albums. Gakt and Yohio are friends. Yohio is a Swedish singer notable for being probably the only non-Asian visual K musician to find some success in his career. And he's friends with Gakt, apparently. Well, that's cool. Snoopy. Mana is very fond of Snoopy. In one of the interviews I found, he's quoted saying, I slept with a blue Snoopy blanket when I was a child, so I think I just naturally became very fond of it. I have so many Snoopy team items I can barely count them all, as I always receive them as presents from all of you. 
I think what draws me to the character the most is the carefree atmosphere, which I find very soothing. I often use a Snoopy tea set when I'm having tea. Knowing anything about Tetsu, Tetsu was Mali Smizer's first vocalist. Because of his rather unique vocals, way different than Gax or Klahas, his era has the least known Mali Smizer songs, and unfortunately he's often forgotten by fans. Gax disrespecting Kami. On the 18th anniversary of Kami's passing, Gax posted photos of him visiting Kami's grave. He sparked controversy by doing this because Kami's relatives didn't want his grave's location to be publicly known. Melons Melons were Kami's favorite food. Reportedly, Mana eats melons every year on the anniversary of Kami's passing. Gagged Wee Wee Training uh, We're starting off Tier 4 with a banger. Uh, this entry refers to a video in which Gagged shows us um, how to train your Wee Wee to grow and be strong. Uh, moving further. Honey Vanity Honey Vanity is probably the most popular song from Cozy's solo career. <laughs> Mohawk Mana Back in high school, when Mana became interested in heavy metal and punk music, he grew his hair past his shoulders and dyed it bright red and or pink and styled it into a huge mohawk. Unfortunately, there are no photos of him rocking a mohawk. Mana Sama is God Mali Smizer fans sometimes call Mana a God. This is just a cute, silly way of referring to your favorite musician, he's not actually a God. How is he? Uh, looking it up, I actually found the post of someone asking him what he said at the time, I think it is funny. Cozy eyeball fetish. Due to the lyrical and visual content of Cozy's work, it is generally assumed that he is interested in sadomasochism and has an eyeball fetish. Yeah, that's an actual thing. Being able to tell when man is slightly smiling in a picture. Mana is known for his constant poker face, but he actually does crack a smile from time to time. Mana's nephew. Mana has a nephew called Michan, and there are photos of them vibing together. Very cute. Catboy Mana. Kami waking up and realizing he's gay. There's an interview in which Mali Smizer members express their thoughts on homosexuality. In an English translation of it, Kami says, I don't know how I came to like men. Everyone, I don't know when or how I woke up to this. Because of the translation being a bit off, we can't say for certain what exactly Kami meant by this and if he truly liked men or not. There's a whole biggest thread on the escape forums about this. 99 questions interview. Malsmizer had two 99 questions interviews in which members of the band were asked well, 99 questions. The first one was in the Gact era and the second better known one was with Klaha. Fishing lessons. Malsmizer appeared on the TV show Pink Paparazzi in 1998. During their appearance, they were learning how to fish. 
This is also where the clip of Gakt saying Cozy is four years old came from. Gakt ringtone. Yeah, if you want, you can have a ringtone of Gakt telling you to answer your fucking phone. Hey. Hi, sweetie. It's me, Gakt. Hello. Hello. Gakt's here. Hey. Are you there? Hey. It's me, Gakt. Answer your fucking phone. Mana Sea Monkeys. Mana has claimed to be raising sea monkeys. Reportedly, he even sent a fan a package of sea monkeys because her own had died. Mother of Life. Mother of Life is a handmade jewelry brand of Miles Miles' basis Yuki. He announced the launch of it in December 2011 and he sold it via Medinet's online store. Console Collector Mana Mana is a certified gamer and a console collector. He buys game consoles as soon as they come out, and his favorite portable gaming console is the PC Engine GT. PlayStation. Cup Factor I think this entry is referring to a Mashery interview in which Mana says he used to work as a drinking glass inspector at a factory. Gurley and Mattenrow Gary was a punk rock band in which Mana played from 1988 until 1990, back then he was going by the stage name Serena. He later joined Matt and Row in which he performed with Cozy. Gact and Cozy Rap There's a video from Miles Miser's radio show with Gact and Cozy rapping a tank twister about Mana. <laughs> ちょっと聞いてないでしょ。うん。じゃあ、もう少しテンポ早く行こう。行こうか。あ、早くすんのよ。ま、ちょっと。ママからママ、ママからママ、ママからママ言われる。ママからママ、ママからママ言われる。
We can feel his aura around us and everywhere we go we see mana. So that's it for the Miles Miser Iceberg. I had a lot of fun researching the entries and writing the script and I hope you all had fun watching this video. Once again, this iceberg was made by AdHoneyVanity on Twitter, so make sure to follow him, he did a really good job on it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. If it performs well, I would love to make something similar. Maybe iceberg on some other Visual K or heavy metal bands, or Visual K in general. If I made any mistakes, make sure to leave a comment correcting me. Thank you for watching and goodbye.